So guys, welcome back to Tabletop Assault. I'm David. I'm Ross. And today we're bringing you a 1500 point battle report. This is our inaugural 9th edition battle report. And we apologise it's a little bit late, but you've seen our statement on Facebook to sure, sure, sure. answer that. So, I'll be using Grey Knights today. And I'll be using Death Guards. Now, every time we've done an edition, I think our first battle report was Grey Knights versus yes, Death Guards. Although then it was Chaos, Mark of, uh, Mark of Nurgle. And then 8th edition, we did Grey Knights versus Death Guard, but I didn't have any of the new Death Guard models. You because, didn't uh, well, yeah, but because they just came out, I had yeah. time to win. Now we've got a Death Guard army! So, you know, it's all came around in 9th. So, yeah, good old, it's good to always keep that thing going. Sure, sure, sure. That's always our favourite armies to play when we launch a new edition. So, um, yeah, Ross, take it away. What are we going to play? So, missions are quite different in this edition. We're going to play an Eternal War Vital Intelligence. How that works is we're going to have six objective markers out on the field. These are predetermined in all of the objectives. So rather than opponents, you know, obviously choosing between each other, they are predetermined. It's almost like a diagonal line across it and then one in each of our deployment zones. Uh, at the end of each player's command phase, the players score five victory points for each of the following conditions that they make. They control two or more objective markers, that they control three or more objective markers and they control more objectives markers than your opponent and you score for each of them five victory points so obviously if you control three uh, command points uh, sorry uh, control points yeah your opponent controls none you're going to score 15 victory points which is quite good you also choose your secondary objectives which will be displayed later on for each one of us your you and your opponent choose for your secondary objectives and there's two to choose from in this mission specifically if you do wish to go with them. I'm not going to go into all the secondary objectives. No, 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 no. You know, if we went into detail You'll about them, that's the going to be, screen. yeah, that's going to be a long one. So with that, let's have a look at the forces. Here's my 1500 points of Death Guard. I'm going to be in Battalion, and that's the only formation I'm taking, so I'm going to have my points refunded to give me 12 command points at the start of the game. I'm going to go as part of this detachment, Mortarian's Anvil. So for my HQ, I've got Dean Prince Without Wings, Relics of Decay will be the Suppurating uh, Plate. Wall of Trey will be Arch Contaminator. Contagion Discipline will be Miasma, Pestilence and Smite. Arch Malefic Talon, two sets and Marker Nurgle. I've also got Chaos Lord and Terminator Armor. I'm just Combi Bolter, Power Fist and Marker of Nurgle. For troops, I've got a unit of five Plague Marines. Uh, the Champions Armed with a Bolt Gun, Plague Knife, Blind Crack, crack Grenades. For the Plague Marines, I have two Bolt Guns. Two blight launchers, four plague knives, and blind crack grenade, blight and crack grenades. Got another unit of five plague marines. Champ's got bolt gun, plague uh, plague knife, and blight and crack grenades. And again, two bolt gun, two blight launcher, four plague knives, and blight and crack grenades. Also got another unit of plague marines. Again, bolt gun, plague knife, blight and crack grenades. On the champion, but I have two plasma guns, uh, two bolt guns, play, four plague knives, and crack and crack grenades in that unit. And then for my elites, I have a 10-man squad of Blight Lord Terminators. Uh, the champion has a Combi Plasma and Bobotic Axe. I've then got in that unit two Flail of Corruptions, two Blight Launchers, five Combi Plasmas, six Bobonic Axes, one Bale Sword, all with Marker Nurgle. Got a Faulted Bloat Drone with two times Plague Splitters, Plague Probes. And I've also got another uh, Faulted Bloat Drone with two times Plague Splitters and Plague Probes. And then for Hive Spore, I've got one Play Burst Crawler with Play Burst Mortar, Heavy Slugger, two time Plague Splitters, and a Mark and Nuggle. And that is my 1500 points of Death Guard. So here is my 1500 points Grey Knights Battalion Detachment. Spending uh, three command points to take the detachment, but getting it refunded straight away as I am Battle Forged. So 12 command points to play with. So uh, leading the army will not be Drago, it's actually going to be this Brotherhood. I think it's Champion or Brotherhood Ancient with uh, the banner and I'm going to use the Relic to replace the banner to be basically D6 mortal wounds when it smites rather than the usual less smites for the Grey Knights and it's down to 6 inches. Um, actual psychic power as well on the banner is, uh, is going to be a lovely um, sanctuary. We then also have uh, Kaldor Drago who's not going to be the Warlord, he is going to have the Gate of Infinity and the Hammerhand ability along with Smite. 
We then have Voldus. Now Voldus is going to have all the nice juicy ones from Psychic Awakening. So we're going to have Warp Surge to change tides, Inner Fire to try and blast away some mortal wounds. And we're also going to have Imperium Domination to try and refund some Psychic Powers. That's fun for, for Voldus. Troop wise, we've got three identical strike teams. One, two, three. Four of the strike team uh, members all have halberds, the just the card taking a Nemesis Demon Halber, a uh, hammer, and they all have Storm Bolters. That is identical across all three squads. Uh, leading at the back for the heavy hitters, we do have two Dread Knights. Oh, I should also mention all the strike teams have Hammer Hand as well. Um, the Dread Knights, so they've got one in the far left with Nemesis uh, Greatsword. Dread Fist, and it also has a Psy Cannon, Heavy Psy Cannon, and that will have the Sanctuary and Smite ability. To the right, you have another Nemesis Dread Knight with the Heavy Incinerator, a Nemesis Greatsword and Dread Fist, and again, Sanctuary and Smite. Then we have our Paladins. We have 10 Paladins. Now, the Paladins are going to have Hammer Hand and Smite for their abilities, but how are they kitted out? So, seven of the Paladins, including the Justicar, so eight Halberds in total. Uh, and then we have two of the Paladins have Nemesis Demon Hammers. They all have Storm Bolters, but two of the Paladins are swapping them out for Psy Cannons. So with that guys, that is the Grey Knights. 1500 points. Here is the battle map that we are using today, so a mix of a lot of our ruined buildings. Now we do have six objectives out on the field and they are predetermined as they are a lot in 9th edition. So there's no more sort of switching between you and your opponent and choosing them. Where these objectives are is one is here, one is here, one here, one here, one in this bit and one in this corner here. So I've gone corner to corner, and then one in each of our deployment zones. Deployment zones are also defined by the mission object, the mission itself as well. So we do have sort of corner to corner, as the mission requires. With that, let's have a look at deployment. Here is the Death Guard deployment. So I've got a contingent of two photo bloat drones on this side. You know, Plague Marines just down here. I have my Plague Crawler, Dean Prince and a unit of Plague Marines over here and another unit of Plague Marines over here. I also have in reserve, obviously my Deep Strike, a big old unit of 10 Black Lord Terminators and a Chaos Lord to go with them. So here we have our Grey Knight deployment. We have in here my Heavy Incinerator Dread Knight tucked away. Strike Team, Strike Team, Strike Team and Psy Cannon, or Heavy Psy Cannon I should say, Dread Knight, along with Aldous. Um, that's leading the deployed army. In reserve, we do have Drago leading the Paladins and the Brotherhood Champion. Uh, Going to hopefully come in at some point during the battle. So with that, we now have to roll off to see who goes first. There's no longer any plus one or attacker goes first, and there's no more C's initiative in 9th edition. So Ross, do you want to roll first? I will indeed. Death Guard have rolled a three. The Grey Knights, they have rolled a four. So we have Grey Knights. Uh, I'm just going to take turn one. Sure, sure, sure. Going into Grenade Command Phase. So into the Command Phase for Grey Knights. I will refund a Command Point, so I'm up to 13 Command Points. Because uh, you get one free point if you're Battle Forge basically every Command Phase, which is great. Um, per objective wise, I'm actually holding one of my objectives with Voldus. Um, Ross isn't holding his objective in his deployment zone. So I will get five victory points because I have more objectives held in this scenario than Ross currently in this command phase. There's no other additional stuff to do in the command phase at the moment. We know that's going to come later in 9th edition. Um, but for my command phase, that is me. Let's move on to our movement phase. So end of the Grey Knight movement. We have gone strike team staying here on the objective. This strike team has moved and advanced just because we want to get more objectives or closer to more objectives as we can. The other strike team is in this building, you can see it there, and Voldus is actually around the back as well. They both, uh, well the strike team moved, but Voldus had to advance as well. Again, we're just trying to cover some more board, not get boxed in, and also try and get to objectives. Down here, both my Dread Knights used their Dread Knight teleporters and jumped down um, to be just nine inches away from the Demon Prince, um, but he's obviously their target. So both of them have jumped, which means that ability is used up for the game. 
We are in Tide of Escalation, which is obviously the plus one to Smites, and because, oh boy, we've got some two very important Smites coming up on that Demon Prince. So this Dread Knight here, with the Heavy Psy Cannon, is going to smite the Demon Prince. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's go for it. 2d6, and I get plus one because I'm Battleforged. So we get six, uh, seven, eight, plus one is nine. Would you like to deny? I'll let that one go. Let that one go. So that'll be four mortal wounds uh, because uh, you're a demon for three and psychic escalation plus one. So if you wow. them. So you take one mortal wound. Uh, we're then going to go with um, one command point here for mm -hmm. psychic channeling on this dread knight. So it's a great knight psyker. Gets uh, plus one to the test, I believe. Psychic channeling. No, pick three dice, to roll three dice, pick the highest, okay. and I get plus one in if we've been battleforged. We're going to smite again. Oh, okay, okay. Need to try and soften you up if you can't. So it's going to be a six, seven in total, because pick two highest and plus one. Yep. You can deny. Uh, ooh, I don't think you've got many other spells that might be coming. I know your strike teams won't be doing much, so I'll just attempt to try I think you should, and yeah. deny it. Denied. Should do. So we are going to also use uh, Voldus now. So we're going to start with Imperium Domination to try and get a command point back. Yep. We're looking for 7 to cast and I get plus 1. Failed. So, and I'm not even going to try and use a command point to re-roll that. To bring a command point yeah, back. I'd, not bothered. That's a bad plan. Yeah, yeah not bothered. Um, we obviously, we can't use really anything else from him at the moment, but we're going to use Warp Shaping. The reason we're going to use Warp Shaping is I'm planning to get some crazy... In fact, we're not going to use Warp Shaping. We're going to leave on the Psychic Escalation just now. Okay. So nothing from him there, and I think that's him done. So I'm going to use another Command Point for Mental Focus on this Dread Knight that cast Smite earlier. We're going to use his actual Psychic Ability, which is going to be Sanctuary, because if I fail the charge, I want it to be a bit more survivable. Sure, sure, sure. So it's going to be a 6 to cast, and I get plus 1. We get it. I think you've already used your deny up. I have. So we do get it. So we have to remember Sanctuary is on the Flame Dread Knight. And that would be an end to my Psychic phase because everything else is not in range or really needs to cast anything at this stage. So into the shooting phase, we are going to go straight with uh, this Dread Knight here. Mm -hmm. He's going to shoot his Heavy Incinerator into the Demon Prince because you're Toughness 6, I believe. I am. So D6 automatic hits. I'm going to use a Command Point. Okay for three, so not much better. So I'm actually down to 10 command points, guys, just for a quick recap. So it's strength six, so it'll be wounding you on fours, I believe. Yep. Yep, wounding on fours. And in case you're wondering, it's a 12 inch flamer, so that's how it can be in range. Uh, so two wounds. Minus? Minus two AP. So that's gonna bring me to five up Sorry, minus one AP, Ross. Oh, right, uh, well, I feel one of them. Yeah. How much damage? Uh, two. Two, so disgusting resilient. To go through, so I am down to five wounds. Down to five. If you don't mind, Ross, let's just go straight into the other Dread Knight just while we're here. Sure, sure, sure. So we're going to use the Heavy Psy Cannon. Uh, so that's uh, six shots. We're going to be hitting on fours because I did move and there's no rerolls here. Yep. So we only get one hit. Oh, moving has cost him dearly. Do you suffer a mouse one tip for moving? Yeah, because it's heavy. Yeah, but on a vehicle. Is he not a vehicle? I will double check. Yes, Ross, well spotted. It is a vehicle, and the ninth edition, vehicles and monsters ignore that heavy roll, don't they? Yep. So uh, that was another three hits then in total, so we get four hits. I am actually strength seven with this, mm -hmm. so I'm wounding you on threes. For three wounds, it's only minus one again. So it's going to be four up save. Yeah, four up save, yeah. Fail two, what's his damage? Uh, two damage apiece. I'll let it go. Yeah. Uh, so I'll get four disgusting resuming. Don't count drop days. Mmm, down to one wound remaining. Got nothing else to shoot at him, but if I get in combat, it'll be bad. So in there, the unit of uh, strike team, they can actually just get in range of these plague marines because they moved. Yep, yep, yep. Nothing else can shoot now, so just ten shots. I'll be hitting on threes, but I reroll ones because of all this. Okay. That's ten hits. Uh, but this is the important part. I'll be wounding you on fives because you're toughness five and I'm strength sure. four. That's cooked. That's oh actually a really Lord. good wind roll. Well, thankfully I'm behind barricades, so I'm yeah. going to be in a two-up save. Yeah. But yes, very good roll, wind roll. 
Two up. Two up. And discussing the resilient for the fail. No. Nope. Yeah, so everything's fine. Uh, and that brings an end, guys, to the shooting phase. So into the charge phase, I'm going to declare a charge with this Dread Knight, multi-charging the Demon Prince, and I'm not going to be able to get my base into these guys, no. so just them two. Yep. Now in 9th edition, Ross, you can choose to overwatch with one of your units this phase, but it's going to cost you two command points. Nope. I thought that was going to be the case. So he's going to charge in into these guys here. Yep. 9 inch charge. Ooh. 4. I'd need a, what, 5 plus? 5 plus. And I do have another charge. I'm going to just use a command point. We'll keep the four because I've got another charge anyway. Okay. Let's go for it. Five plus, come on. Nope. So we fail with that Dread Knight and then the other Dread Knight is going to charge. Same deal here, guys. Ross isn't going to overwatch, I'm assuming. Nope. Um, I have no reroll here. If I fail this, oh boy. Nope, they fail it. And hypothetically, if I didn't use that command point, do I you want to see it? I would have kept it for if you got a 5 or a 6. Oh! Just like that, yeah. But yeah, they fail their charges, guys. Um, that will bring an end to the shooting charge fight. All done? Yep. So that brings an end to Grey Knight's turn 1. Um, we got so close to killing the Demon Prince. So close. It is what it is. Um, so yeah. Otherwise, if you look at the board, the armies are pretty much kind of positionally the same way as they are with the exception of the Dread Knights. Um, it's up to Ross to, in his turn, see what he wants to do offensively. I think it's pretty obvious what he needs to deal with, the Dread Knights. So with that, guys, let's crack on to Death Guard, turn one, see what they can do. Death Guard turn one. So we're not going to score anything in this turn just because I decided to go a bit more defensive though David's maneuverability did cause a heavy amount of damage to Demon Prince really bringing it down to one wound which is not good. I've got a few things to target but again David does have a mighty Paladin drop coming as well and I've also got my Blight Lords. Really is just trying to move into position and deal with those Dread Knights. Let's see how that goes. Finished up the movement phase for the Death Guard, so I've more or less moved everyone around here. I need to at least deal with one of the Dread Knights. If we can do that, that would be a great success. So try and cause as much damage as I can. I advance these Death Guard over here just to get onto this objective. I have then advanced these Photo Bloat Drones because uh, they've got assault weapons, which is good. Just give me some flaming capability and also to control another point. So that would give me three points that I'm controlling, which is not a bad result for next turn. Well, let's go into the Psychic phase. Only Psychic ability I'm going to go for, Miasma of Pestilence on himself. Now, I know Smite's probably going to end him way beforehand, but if I can at least try and survive a round of combat, that'd be ideal. So it's going to be a six cast. So we do get it, but you can attempt to deny this is my only spell. Yeah, I'm going to just try and deny it with one of the Dread Knights, I guess. Uh, denied. Yep. Gonna start off with my Plague Crawler. Gonna put both Flamers and the Heavy Slugger into this guy here. The Sanctuary one? Yeah, because uh, what's your arm save? Two, two up, up. I don't think you're gonna probably bring it beyond I'm the... not gonna bring it yeah. to your... What's your inbox save at the moment? Four up. Four up? Yeah, I don't think I've yeah. got many Makes minus fine. loads. So, go with him. And the, can the Mortar itself will go for these guys in the back. Okay, cool. We'll do the mortar first because uh, basically I could shoot at the Dread Knight but I'd have to sacrifice the, pl the flamers because you need to be over 12 inches away. D6 shots and the guys over there. Five. Five. Gonna need four stat here. Reroll ones because I have a Demon Prince. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Nope. I don't think you're too bored about this shot to be honest. Well, it would have been nice. Uh, two to one wound, reroll ones. There you go, minus 2 AP, D3 damage. So I'm in cover, so it's going to be 4 up save. Saved. Nice, nice, nice. 2 D6 automatic hits in the Sanctuary. The Sanctuary guy, yeah, 9 shots, pretty good. 4, 5, 6. Yep. Yep, go for it. And it will be, what's your toughness? 6. 6, so it's going to be, ooh, I might be 3 to wind you re-rolling because of Arch Contaminator, because I believe the Plague Crawler is strength 7 at full capacity? Most likely will be. Uh, yep, strength 7, strength user, so it's going to be 3s, re-rolling everything due to Demon Prince. Reroll 
Oh, damn. Jeez, oh. That's a good draw. Yeah, it's a really good draw. There we go. Sam and he wins. Minus one AP. And what's the damage? One. Damage one, minus one. So it's going to be three up saves because they're two up armor. So this is on the flame Dread Knight. So far I've saved them all. Take one damage. Down to 11 wins remaining. I'll just quickly do the heavy slugger. It's four shots. Hitting on fours. We roll ones. Oh. Two hit. Uh, what's your toughness? Six. So it'll be fives to so win. It'll be fives. Not a plague weapon. Nope. No. This unit play marines next, just can put all their shots into the flamer guy. So yep. two plasma and they're gonna supercharge. Okay, rapid and, firing. Yep, hand on threes, re-rolling ones. Okay, okay. Winning on threes. Oh, only one. Uh, minus three brings me to a four up sanctuary. Yep. Saved. There you go, and then it'll be bolter fire, which will be six shots as I'm in rapid fire yep. range. Hand on threes, re-roll ones. Ones. And then it'll be five swing you. Yep. For two wins, but you're rocking your two up. Two up armor. Uh, both saved. This unit here with the blight launcher, start the bolters. Six shots hitting on iron rapid fire range then. 12 inches. Who's your target first? It's going to be the flamer guy, Nam, no, non rapid fire range. So we'll go with yeah, the, go other the other one, one. for yep. the rapid, but the blight launchers are going after the flamer. That's fine. So it's going to be six boss shots, hand on threes, reroll ones, reroll one. Yep. And then five wounds. Or one wounds. Okay, two up. He's fine. Cool, cool, cool. And then I'll do the blight launchers this into the flamer. So it's going to be four shots from them as they are assault two, hitting on threes, rerolling ones. And then their strength six. What's your toughness? Four. It's forced to wind. Force to toughness six, force to win. Reroll everything because they're a plague weapon. I'm in range of the Doom Prince. Let's reroll that one. So three wounds, minus two AP. So four up save. Yep. And what's the damage? D3. Damage D3. So four ups. Uh, save them all. And then my plague spears from my bloat drones. They can see me through the windows. Yep, yeah, gonna get you through there. 2d6 automatic hits. For eight. Six, seven, eight. Wounding you on threes, re-rolling yeah. ones. Reroll the ones. There you go. So that's what's minus one, but you're in cover, so it's gonna be three, three up. up. Failed two, so two off the back. Just what do your other guy next? Yeah, 2d6 automatic hits. Four, six. There you go. Yep. So we've got three remaining in the squad. Threes, reroll ones. Ah, oh, twos, come on! There you go. And then three up. Uh, so three die, so I've got two remaining in the squad. That'll just be the just the car and another halberdier. So the only charge I'm really going to do is going to be Doom Prince straight into this Dread Knight here. Not this one, because the Flame Murphy Overwatch will probably kill him. I think I can at least survive one round to get into yeah. him. Survive your overwatch. Do you wish to overwatch? Yeah, I'm going to spend two CP to overwatch because you've only got one wound. If I get lucky... If you get lucky... Then it's a... T two CP well spent. Yep. So we'll go with uh, the heavy side cannon. Six shots, hit on sixes. I get two sixes. Yeah, side cannon, strength seven, so winding on threes. For two wins, minus one. Minus one, bring to four up save. <gasps> uh, it's two damage apiece. Two piece. damage piece, so I've got to make all these disgusting. You're not going to reroll one of the saves? I could. I'll, I'll do it, but I think we've, we're... No, don't, don't. I'm going to say don't. Too late. Because you could fail the charge. Uh, no, nah, I mean, like, okay, yeah, I'm okay. likely to die, Dave. Right, okay. I've got to make all of these. No. He's dead. And as you into the morale phase, um, I did lose three of these strike teams, so on a six, I will fail the morale because they're leadership eight. They pass, so we're not going to be any attrition there. And that's it for Death Guard turn one. I think I may have done pretty bad there, losing a Demon Prince. Yep. And then killing, I think, what, three marines and a wound or a dread knight? I don't think that's a, a good trade. Uh, base, we're going to go into grey knights. Bring the paladins, David. So into the grey knights, turn two. We're currently now sitting in our command phase. Now, Ross, you hold more objectives than me. Sure do. 
and I don't hold at least two objectives to score points. So I'm actually going to achieve no additional um, victory points at the moment. I do have my secondary objective, Slay the Warlord, and I do have my initial five points I claimed at the start. But uh, as for the command phase goes, uh, I'm just going to refund one command point and bring me back up to eight. So I was down to seven after all those rerolls. Um, not much more to recap there for you guys. So we're going to go straight into the movement. So end of the movement phase for Grey Knights. We've done quite a few things. We've actually advanced back Valdis and those strike team from this building back onto the objective because really the distances to get over here and do anything is pretty much unachievable and we still have a drop coming in so I'm just trying to cover multiple areas of the board. This strike team's moved down and that strike team's moved down. Basically we're going to try and just give some either cannon fodder or hold an objective for the bloat drones. The paladin drop along with the brotherhood uh, champion and or the Brotherhood Ancient, sorry, with the banner and Drago is down here. The Dread Knights are holding this flank down themselves, so they've just moved on up um, and going to cause some damage. With that, guys, we're going to go into the psychic phase. And just as a side note, I did forget to do my ritual action psychic ability last turn. Um, when you're playing ninth, guys, don't forget about those secondary objectives. We will not be forgetting about it this time. So, first, this Dread Knight here is going to smite, and it'll be the, the tank. Yep. So we're looking for, we're still in Tide of Escalation. We get it, Ross has no option to deny, but it'll be four mortal wounds due to Tide of Escalation. And you're a demon. Okay. Three go through, down to nine. Down to nine. The other Dread Knight's gonna do it, but he could not get himself close enough to the, the demon tank. So it's gonna have to be a smite onto these Plague Marines. Yep. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm not gonna smite. I'm gonna use his Sanctuary, because they both have Sanctuary, but I'm gonna cast it on the Flame Dread Knight, because he's the most important of the two of them. So we're going to look for Sanctuary. We get it. Basically, my smite, because these play marines aren't demons, I could really only do one mortal wound plus one. We're discussing Resilient. I think Sanctuary is a bit more important just now. This strike team is going to use Smite onto your floated boat drone. Cool. Uh, so we're still in Tide of Escalation. Yep. So strike, we'll do a Smite with these guys. We get it. It'll be four mortal wounds. Cool, cool, cool. Five up disgusting. One, so it's down to seven wins. And the other one will have to be the same floated boat drone. Yep. We get it. Another four mortal wins, you at tide of escalation. Down to four wins remaining. Four wins remaining. Okay, we're now gonna go quickly on to our um, Valdis. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Valdis is going to use um, the Imperium Dominium, I think it's called. Basically for a uh, try and refund a command point. It's on a 7. We get it with our plus 1, so we get plus 1 command point. I'm going to use his Ritual, which is the secondary objective, for 3 plus to get. We get it, so one of our 3 Rituals has been cast. And I'm now going to use Warp Shaping, because I want to change the Tide to Tide of Convergence. So warp shaping, we get it. So we're now in tide of conversion, so all infantry units will get plus one strength and plus one damage while this tide is in effect. Slight tactical error, I maybe shouldn't have changed the tide just yet because really there's no other spells these, this combination can do other than smite really. So I'd like the extra mortal wound, but it is what it is. So because they're equidistant, we're just gonna do one, two, three, that drone, four, five, six, that drone for a smite. So it'll be that drone for the smite. We'll go with the brother, uh, not the Brotherhood Champion, because his smite is reduced range due to the banner, the relic we took. So we'll just use Drago, I guess, on him. We get it, so it'll be three mortal wins, because you're a demon. Yep, yep, yep. Down to one. Do you want me to roll hypothetical to see if I would have survived if you didn't change this? Oh, right, okay. I would have died. You would have died. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. I'm sure you've got enough bolter shots to... Yeah, and then we're going to use the last unit, the Paladins. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's which unit will get it. Yep. So that unit will get it. Mortal wounds. Yep, we get it. So three mortal wound Ross. Discussion is only it's not paid off. On to the shooting. These strike teams are going to shoot at that blow drone. Now, as per terrain rules, I'm actually in that terrain piece. Yep. So I can shoot through it. Likely you can actually shoot at me. Sure, sure, sure. If I was on the opposite side, because it's more than five inches tall, I couldn't shoot at you. Yeah. That's just one of the new things. Eight shots, rapid fire, four apiece. Uh, I should be, I will not be within six inches of Drago, so just hitting mm. on threes. Terrible shot, by the way. Like, eight misses on three ups. 
Uh, fives to wind, I'm sure it'll be. Yep. For one wind. Yep. Yeah, no AP. Fine. Fine. We're just going to do... We'll do the other unit. I need to get more dice. Yeah, no problem. 20 storm bolter shots here into that boat drone. Hitting on threes. We're definitely double tapping our storm bolters. Okay, good few hits through. Uh, winding on fives. Okay, only three. So yeah, three wins. Pass them all. And they've all advanced up top. So I'm actually going to go into the Storm Bolter from the Brotherhood Champion. And did Valdis advance? Yeah, they both yeah. advanced. I had to advance to get back over there. Sure, sure, sure. So the Champion, he is a 3 plus for Ballistic Skill, but 2 plus for Weapon Skill. And reroll everything due because to... Because of... Reroll all failed hits. Yep. Uh, so that's a fail because of Drago. Uh, fives to win, Storm Bolters. Two wins. Three up. Yep. Fine. Let's just do Drago's one, just while we're at it. Twos. Twos, reroll everything. Or all field hits, I should say. Fives. Nothing. And you know what? It's not going the way I thought. We'll pause here for a second. On to the Paladins next. So we're going to split their shots. The two Psy Cannons are going to put their shots into the one wounded Blood Drone. Mm -hmm. And 32 rapid firing Storm Bolters into that Blood Drone. But we're going to use the Cybolt stratagem, Cybot Ammunition, to give all the Storm Bolters plus one strength and plus one AP. Go for it. It's mainly just AP. But we'll do the Psy Cannon first, guys. Mm -hmm. So uh, hitting on fours because I moved um, is a heavy, uh, but re-roll everything bar threes. Cool, cool, cool. Two threes. Re-roll because of Drago. Okay, so we get five hits. Uh, strength seven, so winning on fours. Uh, yep, winning fours. For four wins, it's minus one AP. So it's going to be four save. Yep. yep. <laughs> I'm not going to use command points. It's one damage, so yeah. unless you make all these, discussion yeah. resilient. Nah, not even close. Does he explode? Yeah, on a four plus he explodes. He no. does not. And then the 32 rapid firing storm bolters are cyborg ammunitioned. Heading on three is re rollable. Uh, we can keep rolling because you can just pick all these out. Sure, sure, sure. There we go. So these are all the hits. Rerolls due to Drago being nearby. One dice fell off, so I'm just going to add that in. Yep. There we go. Uh, right, now strength 5 is still going to be Windy in 5s regardless of the cyber ammunition, but we want minus 1 AP here, so lots of 5s. Lots of 5s. I actually see a fair few 5 pluses. Uh, yeah, you know what? Oh my word. Not bad, actually. There's another one. There's another one, so there is. Yeah, not bad. So I don't think you'll kill him, but no. it's going to hurt. Uh, so you are minus one AP due to your cyber ammunition, so four yep. plus. Uh, really good actually. Yeah, really good. Really so good. Four disgust resilience. Four disgust resilience. Didn't oh. make any, so down four, uh, three wounds remaining. Yeah. Ugh. Heavy incinerator from the Sanctuary Dread Knight onto these Plasma Plague Marines. Cool, cool, cool. D6 automatic hits. Five. Uh, threes to wins because strength six. Oh, so three wins or two wins uh, minus one. Minus one, four up save. Five up disgusting. It's two damage. Doesn't Ooh, matter. Still kills. One kills. Yeah. Uh, we'll just quickly do the heavy side cannon into the same unit. Yep. From the other dread knight. Six mm. shots. Hitting on fours because I moved. No, no. we ignore it because of the vehicle. Ignore it. That's a good addition. <laughs> Uh, still can't shoot though, apparently, so three misses. Strength seven, so threes to wind. Three to wind. Two wins at minus one. Minus one, four up. Failed it's one. Two damage again. So five up, disgusting. Nope. Yeah, so so one, just two, two down. down. I'm assuming just take the bolts. Yeah. Into the charge phase, this Dread Knight into your tank. Are you going to choose to two command point to overwatch? No, nah, I'm going to leave it. Even the, fl the flamers just won't do the damage on you. So charging in, yep, he's in. I'm going to multi-charge that Dread Knight into both of them. Not going to over Yeah, it's doing this quickly, guys. Sure, sure, sure. They're both in. Charges over here. Uh, we are going to go with the Paladins first, because if I charge Drago and he gets all the way up there, they're no longer in range, I believe, for first to the fray. Ah, okay, yeah. 
Uh, I could be wrong in that. Have a check in that when it could be when you're declaring charge. Got it right here. Yeah, it's within six inches. Yeah. So we need to charge these paladins first because they're the important one. Go for it. Paladins could charge in, so nine inches, but I do get to reroll due to the warlord trait, which is on the banner. Reroll and I have to reroll the full test. Failed. All right, uh, Drago time. Drago time indeed. He wants it. <laughs> oh my. Do you want to bring, no, you're going to keep those on the objective? I'm going to keep them on the objective. I'm actually not going to charge the banner. I'm confident Drago can do it. Ah, yeah, exactly. And I quite like, because the, they need to be near the banner anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to charge them as well. Yep. Because I mainly just want to get them on the objective. Yeah, why not? So, uh, so that will have eight. Uh, we'll check it. We'll check it. Roll the dice. Failed. It's not that. <laughs> and I'm not going to come out and point it. So Drago's going to take it first. Six attacks, because get plus one for uh, Shock Assault. Heading on two is rerollable. Drago! That's better. Apparently couldn't swing the sword the first time. Um, now I'm going to be strength eight, so I wouldn't join threes, but as your demon, this is all rerollable. Mm, okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, minus loads. Uh, yeah, it's minus four AP. It's going to be straight to your demon save. Five up. Which you kind of nailed. Yeah. I'm going to... How it's much damage? three damage. Oh, it's worth me. I'm going to command point. point. Yeah. Because I might survive this. No. Nope. And then it's six. Disgustingly resilient. Yeah. Need to make four to live. <sighs> uh, oh. uh, no, I just, just... And I can't reroll. No. Do I explode? Take please, a mortal wound off him. Don't. Have a you mortal don't. wound. Okay. Are those guys within seven inches? We'll double check. So we're going to go into the Dreadnought over here. Now the flame one, I'm going to use the Dreadnought stratagem from Psychic Awakening. Fury, or is it Fury? Fury of the Proven. Okay. To give him plus one attack. Is it Fury of the Proven? No, it's not. It's Overwhelming Assault. To give him plus one attack, plus one damage, and reroll wounds of one. Nice. The reroll wounds of one doesn't matter here, but it's just the damage and attacks. I'd say the reroll... Oh no, reroll wound rolls are one, yeah, nah, because you yeah. already reroll everything because I'm a demon. Yeah, so he gets four attacks with the sword here, plus one for shock assault, making him five, and plus one now for this um, overwhelming ability, so six. Beautiful. And then I believe I do get to make, uh, da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. yeah, that's it. I don't get to use the dread fist because obviously no, I don't have two dread fists. So this, needs, this is the part that could cost you, this is three's to it? Three's to hit, yeah, no yeah, rerolls. This could cost you. So I'm hoping it does. Mm, probably not. Nope. Um, I'm going to save the reroll. Yeah, I would as well for damage. For damage. So five hits. Mm. Um, I'm going to be strength ten. So you're going to be three to wounds. We get reroll everything because you're demon. It's looking really bad for that tank. It's <laughs> minus 4 AP, so it's going to be straight to demon save. Demon save, don't count drop dice. Demon save! Uh, I've already used my reroll. Yeah, it's looking really bad for that tank. Uh, D6 damage plus one each. D6 damage. It's not D6 plus one damage, it's D6 and reroll damage results of one. Oh, really? Okay, right. So D6 damage for each of these, and then reroll the one. Reroll that one because that was a bad roll. Yeah, so four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, no, it's not a bad roll. I've actually killed you. No, you get to reroll that one. I know, but even with the one I've killed you. Yeah, uh, I've got disgusting results. So you do? Oh no! <laughs> okay, that's better. Do you want to spend a command point on that too? So we've got what so far, guys? Let's just recap. We've got five, eleven, we've got thirteen, and you've got nine wounds remaining. Yeah, I'm going to spend a command point. Yeah. Show me a one. Aha! <laughs> I think every time you said that, it's happened. It happens a lot more. Right, so we've got 10, 12. Let me just get you 12 dice, Ross. Cool, cool, cool. 6, 3, 12. You know there's another Dreadnought to come anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've up. Uh, I need to take... I think I'm okay. You I are think okay. I'm alive just. Take away those four. You've got three, three, and two. You've got one wound remaining on that tank. <laughs> Next Dread Knight is going to go two of the sword attacks into your tank, three into the troops. Okay, okay. Let's do the tank first. Heading on threes. One hit. That's fine. I've used my reroll. Wounding on threes, rerollable, as your demon. Yep. It's a wound. Five up. Five up. I've used my reroll as well. You failed. Uh, D6 damage. Yep. Ooh. 
for Ooh. one. So you need to make this five up here. Do it. No, no. there's low ones. Uh, he's going down. Does he explode though? Because this I, is important. Because I believe. Uh, oh, do I want to spend a command point and just blow up? I'm going to debate. Give me. A I think you'll lose all your marines. Yeah, but I think I was going to lose that to your punching fist dread knight already. You mean the sword? If I can cause D3 mortal wounds, then I'm okay with that for one command point. So yeah, I'm going to activate putrid destination. I'm just going to blow that plague crawler up. I'm going to check if I would have actually blown up either way. I would have. So that's a waste of command point. Uh, let's go with this dread knight here. D3 mortal wounds. Have two. Cool. I'm going to activate for one command point true silver armor. Okay. So in a five up, I'll ignore those two mortal wounds. Okay. Now it stays on him this phase. Nope. Dang it. Waste the command point too, Ross. This one here, D3. For two. So he's down two as well. And then do you want to, do I roll for my You deal? roll it because you're dealing the damage. Yeah. Three. Oh, disgusting resilient. Well, it looks like you're not swinging. <laughs> no, he uh, did my job for me. So into Grey Knights, uh, pretty much end of phase. There's no sort of morale to take on either side. So we skipped that. Um, but we'll also show you the board. It was an incredibly successful turn for Grey Knights. We cannot kid ourselves. The Dread Knights have achieved their objective. Drago achieved his objective. Um, Ross has a drop to come in. Let's see what it can do. Command point wise, you're on. Uh, 12 I believe. I've still got loads. Maybe 11. No. I think you're on 11. 11, yeah. Yeah, I'm on 5. Um, hand it on to Death Guard turn 2. On to Death Guard turn 2. Holy smokes that hurt. Uh, basically losing a lot of my backfield almost in its entirety. We're going to bring down those Blight Lords, try and do as much damage as we can. I really have to actually choose what side to come down on because I can either deal with, try and deal with Dread Knights or try and deal with Paladins. Both absolutely difficult units to move. Let's see, I think I'm going for more glory on this one. Let's see what we do. Finished our movement for the Death Guard and we've sort of consolidated our position to try and reclaim our lines from these Dread Knights. Move these Plague Marines here. Dropped my Blight Lords and my Chaos Lord over here. And then I also have these Plague Marines here. It's just going to be basically fire everything into these Dread Knights, do as much as we can. Plague Marines here, going to put three Rapid Fire Bolt Guns into him and then two Blight Launcher shots as well. So we're going to put the Bolt Guns first, hitting on threes. And then wounding, I imagine, on fives. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fives. Two wounds. Full save. Two up armor. Middle okay. Nice. Blight launch next. Four shots. Hitting on threes. Oh. Wounding you on toughness seven. Yeah, toughness six. So toughness fours. Six, fours reroll ones. One wound. Minus two AP. Four up. He's okay. These plague marines just into that dread now as well. Want to see what I can do. Three bolt gun shots because I'm opening on rap fire because I did move. Do you not get fired double your shots anyway? Hmm? Do you not have that as like a standard death guard It's uh, 18 inches and I'm going oh, right, okay. inches cool, sorry. to do that. And uh, it's going to be 5 swoons. Nope. And then it's going to be a bite launcher. 3 step. Yep. It's going to be 4 swoons. Reroll once. Nice, there you go. 3 minus 2. 4 up saves. Uh, failed 1, what's the damage? D3. D. Okay. For two. Yeah, I was going to possibly command point it, but it's okay. I wouldn't worry about a D3 damage. I would rather that than a straight two damage. I'd worry more about the D3. And we're going to go with this Blight, Lo uh, Blight Lord contingent next. So we're going to put one, two, three, four, five combi plasma into this Dread Knight here. Okay. I'm going to put this last combi plasma into this guy because he wasn't quite in range. Then I'm going to put two Blight Launchers into this Dread Knight. And the other ones can't fire because they're holding uh, the maces. Okay. So we'll start with the big uh, plasma blob. Plasma blob. That's ten shots into him rap when rap fire, hitting on threes, rerolling ones because the chaos lords nearby. Supercharging. Oh, of course. Oh, thank goodness I brought chaos lord with me. Yeah. Oh. So two of them have died. Two die. That's tragic. Uh, okay. 
and uh, sometimes that's why you should really roll them separately but yeah. fast dice it's going to be uh, oh can I just activate Vets of Long War yeah go, go for it yeah, yeah, yeah go for it uh, it's going to be twos to wound you so activate Vets of Long War go for it yep twos yep probably good call that many saves so that's what six saves yeah five up five up in ball this will probably kill him probably not He's alive, barely. Uh, I've got what? I think you actually might be dead. Two, four, six. Oh, eight. I am, yeah, I'm dead. So I'm going to use a command point. Yep. Uh, five up. Now I'm alive. Blind launcher's next in, Tim. Four shots, because there's two of them. Hitting on threes, we roll ones. We roll ones. Now it'll be threes to wound you. Because of bets. And yep. then we roll ones. All wound anyway. So minus two, I'm assuming. Minus two. Four up save, he's probably toast. Uh, no, he's alive. Oh my word. The combi plasma onto the separate guy here. Okay. Two shots in on three, zero ones. Obviously supercharging. Ooh, and even twos. Two wounds. Four up invul, because of sanctuary. Uh, take four damage. Four damage, yeah. you should be down to five. Nice. Chaos Lord is going to attempt to take out this Dreadnought. I know it's a absolute low chance. But it's going to be four combi bolter shots. Hit him on twos, reroll ones. Going to be wounding in fives. Yep. One yes. One wound. We can't take you out. So. He's okay. Declaring charge time, Blight Lords, into both of them. I know you've got a flamer there, but uh, I've got some deadly swinging weapons. Yeah, so I'm actually going to spend two command points to activate Overwatch on that Dread Knight with mm -hmm. the flamer. So D6 automatic hits for six. Uh, strength six, so I'm assuming I'm wounding you on threes, Ross. Yep. Threes. Uh, for five wounds at minus one AP. So it's three up save. Yeah. How much damage is it? Two apiece. So this will kill. We're disgusting. Result. Yeah, possibly. Uh, so two fails. Two fails, yep, because so only minus one. Yep. Uh, two damage piece, so the first one, five up, disgusting. One's dead, five up, disgusting. One's still alive with one wound. Yep, uh, do you want to use your charge? Nine I inch charge? Do indeed, nine inch charge. You made it? I made it. Kill okay, Slow's gonna attempt to charge. Onto the flamer. Shot. Yep. Nailed Once it. Once in as well. So I'm gonna start back between the Blight Lords, but I'm gonna declare them where it's this mace of, uh, is it Flail of Corruption, I think it is? This power axe and this power axe onto this one here. I think I actually have to go with this power axe. So those four onto them these three onto him. So I'm going to go with the bubonic axes first from these guys here and then I'll do the flail of corruption afterwards. So the champion's there. So it's going to be ten bubonic axe attacks. Could be three Which set. Dread Knight? Oh, it's this one. Okay, thank you. Three set, reroll ones. No rerolls. It's going to be five still in reroll ones because they are a plague weapon. Strength five weapons? Uh, yeah. Strength five weapons, but one one. No, no, there's two oh, ones. Two ones. Two ones. Nope. I believe it's only minus one. Give me a second. Minus two, one damage. So four up. So unless I make both of these, he's dead. He's dead. Does it explode? No, Dread Knights oh, do not explode. And these three from the Blight Lords onto this Dread Knight. So I'll start with the Babonic Axe. So that's going to be three attacks after Hateful Assault. Hitting on threes, we roll ones. I didn't check for death to the false emperor before, but I killed you. So you okay. killed me anyway. It's okay. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, five zero ones. Two wounds. Two wounds. Minus two. So bring me to my four up armor or four up invo, whichever takes your fancy. Uh, failed one damage. D uh, just one. So down to four. And then I have a bail sword in there as well, which will be three attacks. Hitting on three zero ones. That's the sergeant. Uh, no, it's not sergeant. Who's got the bail sword? Uh, Black Lord. Black oh, Lord, sure. cool. Uh, so two miss. I did the reroll, and then it's going to be five wind, strength four. So mm -hmm. five wind. Yep. Nope. Reroll ones, and then last thing is the flail of corruption. So that is this is a really good weapon. I make D three hit rolls for each attack with this weapon instead of one. An excess attacks would have carried on to other things. So this is three D three because I've got hateful assault here. So that is six attacks. Six attacks. 
It's going to move these decks away. Yep, six okay. attacks. Hitting on threes, you roll ones. Darn action twos. Winding on, plus two strength, strength six. Two Winding fours. on fours, re roll ones. Re roll ones. Three wins. What's the damage? Uh, AP minus two, two damage. Cool, so four up again, so uh, I'll need to pick both of these. Failed one, and you know what? It'll kill you. It'll kill me. Oh no, if you survive one, you will outlive. But I've got the Chaos Lord coming. Yeah. What's the Chaos Lord? I've got Power Fist, I'm saying. Power Fist. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to just command point it. Okay. Uh, it's either two command points to interrupt, which I can no longer do if I do this. Yep. Or one command point to stay alive. I'm going to use a command point. I'm sticking around. Five attacks, my Chaos Lord and his Power Fist onto your Dreadnought. Dreadnought. So it's going to be uh, three to hit, reroll ones. I won't get Death Fall Semper because this is minus one to hit. Which is a shame. Uh, and then it is going to be. Three's to wind. Three's to wind. Strength eight. For oh, only one wound. So I'll bring me straight to my four up in vault. Was that command point I spent there worth it? Three up, eh, sorry, four up in vault. He's alive. Oh. All right, so the Dread Knight's gonna hit back. Two attacks, because I'm down to two wounds remaining. I'll get plus one for shock assault, and I'm actually gonna use my last command point on uh, that Dread Knight stratagem, which gives me plus one attack, real uh, wounds of one, and real damage of one. Oh my. So the four attacks with the sword into your lord. Mm -hmm. Hitting on threes, we get three hit. Uh, wounding on twos, because I'm strength ten with that sword, but I'll reroll ones. Only toughness four with these guys, with that Chaos Lord. Yep. No ones, so that's uh, three wounds. It's going to go straight to your four up sigil. Four up sigil. I've used my reroll, haven't you? You have, yeah. yeah. Doesn't oh, matter. Fine, look at that. So that's that. <laughs> And that is it for Death Guard turn two. Thankfully, managed to recover my lines almost. There is still one Dread Knight there, but it's taken such a beating I don't see it living much longer. However, dropping into a corner with Death Guard is kind of difficult because that's given me up a lot of board control. I've still got two objectives, which is not bad. I did kill Dread Knight, give me an extra three bits of points, bringing it eight to five into Death Guard's favour. Uh, let's go into Grey Knights turn three. So into Grey Knights, turn three, uh, I'll refund the command point in my command phase, so I'm back up to one. Uh, I am holding two objectives, not more than you, so I'm going to get another five victory points. So I think the score is now ten to eight. Uh, there is stuff we'll achieve at the end, but we'll come to that at the end. Um, really, for me, if you look at the board, I've only got one objective. I need to gate of infinity and fling my paladins somewhere else. We all know where they need to be flung to. So end of the movement phase, I've actually moved this just the curb back so he's no longer in this terrain but he's on the opposite side of the terrain with it being 5 inches tall meaning he can't really be shot unless a unit can get a, a direct line of sight on him because that's the new terrain rules. Moved them, advanced the banner, uh, moved up Drago, moved these guys onto the objective, kept these guys on the objective and advanced Valdis who is in that building, he's going to come out to play, probably be able to do anything this turn and neither will Drago. Uh, and the Dread Knight is going to stay still because with the new vehicle rule he can actually shoot that flamer into combat. And he'll get to strike first, so that was always fun. Yeah, let's uh, let's move on. So Valdis is going to start by doing Imperium Domination to try and get another command point back. Uh, four, five, six, seven, we will get it, so we're up to two command points. We're not going to change the tides and I'm not in range to smite anyone with my rights of banishment. Uh, and his other inner fire ability is a bit wasted, so we're just going to ritual for a second time. We get it, so we've had two or three rituals to achieve as our secondary objectives. So we're going to go straight on to um, Drago. We're still in Tides of Convergence, so we want some infantry in combat. I don't actually think Drago is going to fling himself in his own. I want to chuck the Paladins in, so we're going to Gate of Infinity the Paladins to be nine inches away of some targets to charge. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see if we can get Gate of Infinity off first of all. We have failed it. So I believe it's six to cast, and I'm going to be a four plus one is five. So I believe we failed it. I'm going to have to command point that one. You need a two plus for Gate of Infinity. We get it. So we do get Gate of Infinity. Let's choose to fling a unit across the board. 
So now that we've done that, I'm just going to skip Dra uh, Drago, skip all the strike teams, skip the banner, because none of them are going to really be doing anything else. Moving on, however, to our lovely, lovely paladins, uh, we are going to try and now activate hammer hand with them, just in case we get the charge off. We fail it, so no hammer hand there, because I believe it's a 7 to cast, we'll double check. And the Dread Knight, you know what, I can do Smite to try and kill one more Terminator. Um, B you'd, get, on, you'd only cause one because you changed your... I know, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. B, you've got one that's already wounded. Oh. Um, or I can go with Sanctuary to try and make him a bit more survivable. However, he's going to get to hit first. You know, I'm going to give him Sanctuary. I do give him Sanctuary. So you get Sanctuary back on again onto the Dread Knight. So I'm going to use the Heavy Incinerator, which is not a blast weapon. And as I'm a vehicle, I can shoot in combat. I'm going to target the Lord, because if I kill any more than one Terminator, you always make my charge longer. Yep. So we're going against the Lord. Six automatic hits. Now what is the toughness of your Lord? Four. So it's not yet. So it's going to be threes to wind. Yeah, for some reason they made Chaos Lords and Terminator armors. Just Chaos Lords and Terminator armor. Yeah. So threes to wind. Uh, four wins. It's minus one AP, but two damage. Um, was it's minus minus one AP minus one, so I just taking two damage. So I'm down to four wins. Four wins remaining. Drago's going to just shoot some storm bolters. In fact, no, we'll go with the guys at the back because if Drago kills some guys, luckily then some hmm. won't be able to shoot. So uh, only four of the guys are actually in range to shoot. So that'll be eight shots. Eight shots. Yeah. You did move. And I'm not in range of Drago, so threes and then fives. One wound. That was one. a terrible wound roll. Three up. I'm yeah. Fine. Then we'll do four shots from Drago because he's a Terminator with his storm blower. Yep. Two zero ones. And fives. For two wounds. Three up. Yep. And five up. Disgusting. No. One goes down. I'll choose. Paladins are going to shoot next. We'll do the two heavy, two normal side cannons into these plague marines. Yep. And then all the storm bolters into them as well. Yeah, just pile in shots. Yeah. So eight side cannon shots hitting on fours because it is heavy and no rerolls. So half the mist, and we will be strength seven, so threes to wind. For two wins at minus one AP. So it's going to be four up. Yep. And then a five. It's one damage. Fine. Uh, and it will be 32 Storm Bolters, so give me a second. 32 Storm Bolters! Here we go. Threes, no rerolls. It's actually a really good roll. Yep. And then we're going to be fives to win, so I'd like another good roll here. Looking for fives to win. No. There you go. So six wins caused. Uh, three ups. Yep. Five up. Disgusting. Nope. Now one goes down. Okay, paladins are going to declare charge into your blight lord terminators. Yep. Nine inch charge, and I've got one reroll left. Yep. You need this to be big. Show me double one. Show me double one. You know I hate when I say show me ones. Yes. Yeah, so stop saying it. Double one. <gasps> okay. So I'm going to command point that. Yeah. 3 plus, and they made it. 66% chance. Show me a one. Show me a one. Show me the one. Oh! oh no! Uh, uh, not when I needed that. No. So <laughs> paladins are not even just getting in, they are storming in. So the paladins, we're going to do eight of them have halberds, that includes adjust the car. So there'll be 28 of the seven guys hitting on threes, mm -hmm. and then four attacks for the adjust the car hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. And then we have eight thunder hammers okay. because I get shock assault, they go from three attacks to four. Sounds good. So I'm going to just do first of all the four attacks, whoops, the four attacks that will hit on two plus yep. for the adjust the car. Two plus. So two of them hit, so we'll put them to one side, and then the rest of these halberds are on three plus. We'll be right back. So we've got a fair few hits there. Now halberds are plus one strength, so I'm winning you on fours because your toughness five. Now I do wish I had stratagem points to do all my abilities for paladins, but I'm out of command points. Either way, it's a good fair few wins. Now a halberd is minus two AP. That's gonna bring me to my four up. Four up, yeah, buddy. 
four up. Okay. It's actually not looking too bad. Cause you're still it's got about fifty percent, which is what you'd expect. Yeah. It's more. Yeah. Hmm. You still got discussion resilient. Now we have to work out the damage. Yeah, you gotta do is one. However, attack. one guy's already down to one wind. So do this D3 first. Well that's already soaked up regardless. Well discussion resilient might soak up more probably. That's not. fair enough. So he passes two dice from that pile over there. Sorry guys, bear with us. Yep, so the first guy I need to pass all three five ups. He is dead, so that's one gone. Next one. Is for two damage. Okay, okay. and five up, need to pass one. Nope, he's gone as well. Next one. It's for three damage. Got to pass at least two. Nope, so another one's gone. Another one. It's now three damage. Two five ups. Nope, another one's gone. Can you tally this roster? I hands? am, yeah, Thanks, four mate. dead. Another three damage. Oh my word, David. So he's gone. He is. He said that before I was finished. <laughs> another three damage. He's gone. So you lost what six so far? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got one left. And I've got one left. <laughs> oh! For one oh, damage. Oh, you can't kill him. Uh, he still takes a damage, so he's down to one wound. One wound. And then we've got the eight thunder hammers. Oh, my word. Because I'm assuming you've got what, one guy left with one wound now? Yep. And how many thunder hammers is he going to receive? Eight. Okay. Because I didn't target the Lord, so. And I couldn't yep. even charge him, so. Uh, hit on fours because it's minus one. It's actually not that good. He may survive. Uh, it'll be winding on five threes. Yep. With a strength eight. Yep. Two wins. Mm, okay, four up Cataphraki. No, nope, I damage. I'm um, gonna command point that. Okay. Nope. nope. Three damage, and I need to get three five ups. Yeah. He's toast. So on to the protracted combats now. As the new rule changes. I will get to strike first after I did Sun Ollie's charge once, so Chaos Lord into a Dread Knight! I'm not going to pile in, just in case you're wondering guys as well. Yeah, 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 yeah don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, it's going to be four attacks, hitting on threes, rerolling ones because it's power fist. And it's going to be threes to Winger. Yep. Wish I had to do it to but that would have only been one extra. I'm going to get you this way either way. Alright, okay. Be good. Don't roll a four, Dave. Don't roll a Sanctuary four. Sanctuary four plus? Don't roll a four. Oh, I don't know, really. Do really. you want to swing at me? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm only going to get two attacks. Yep. Uh, two attacks. So heading on three, so Wimpsco doesn't get impacted. Yep. For one hit. Uh, winding on twos. It's a wound. Uh, four up. No, uh, sigil corruption. Yeah, yep, yeah. Four up. Yep, we're okay. Woo. So that brings an end to Grey Knight's turn three. Um, all objects are achieved, but I think, guys, Ross. Yeah, that's it, David. I, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do this with two Plague Marine units. No. And a Chaos Lord. I mean, even if you had Cal Rodrigo on his own, I would have been absolutely yeah. terrified. So, good game, Ross. Yep. Uh, for our first ninth edition game, uh, the final score after all your second objectives, if you could achieve them, it's been a score of 20 to Grey Knights and 9 for Death Guard. Uh, first ninth edition game, we've got a lot to talk about. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. That is our first 9th edition battle report, on camera anyway. We did uh, one or two practice games. to learn the rules. <laughs> yes, very important point. Uh, so it was an interesting battle, obviously, Grey Knights yeah. versus Death Guard. To give you a wee bit of background, uh, we did Grey Knights versus Death Guard, Death Guard as one of our practice ones. And there is one particularly big weakness of Death Guard, should be noted, against Grey Knights, is that a lot of the stuff I took was demons. Yeah. Uh, the vehicles and such were demons, and when you brought a lot of smite, I was like, oh no, I can't do that because you were putting out four mortal wounds per smite uh, because you were taking on the echoes es as well. It escalation, was, yeah. It was crazy. So I reduced my stuff to Plague Marines, and actually, I'm actually not too bored with Plague Marines. That five man squad with either two plasma or two blight launchers, only 100 points. Cheap. It's okay. If they had a bit more endurance, one wound is what hurts them. I would be really, really satisfied with them. Just because I love Poxwalkers, but they're so darn yeah. slow. That game, I think, you, you minimised how many demons you would like to probably take in your Death Guard army, because yep. obviously Grey Knights was the opponent, um, and for the demons you did take, you've seen what happens. Yep. They just crumble to Grey Knights, but that's all Grey Knights are designed to do, Yeah, these yeah, hunt yeah. demons. Um, take that beside the point, MVPs for me were those two Grey Knights, because uh, the Dread Knights. <laughs> two two <laughs> Dread Knights, there's a few of them. The two Dread Knights. Mainly because they shut things down on your backline 
quickly. Yeah. And not only did they shut them down, they managed to sustain the damage that was coming to them in the shooting phase, which, oh boy, there was quite a lot mm -hmm. when the Blight Lords came in. Um, that tactically gave me time to clean up, essentially, those bloat drones. Yeah, yeah. Because those drones, i played them a few times, I don't like them. They're they are terrifying. really good at dealing with infantry. Really, really yeah. good at dealing with infantry. Uh, what I would say in that one is, Blight Lords came in good. I have never had luck with Combi Plasma drops and yeah. re-rolling. There was when I took a bad and I think I killed four of my own Chaos Terminators. Yeah. It always goes a bit bad for me on that one. So, uh, they did the damage, they did okay, but Paladins though... And that was unmodified Paladins, because everyone now knows there are stratagems to make Paladins quite crazy. Well, I think it's more like... There's, I don't think he used any, but the defensive side of Paladins, yeah. there are some really good Paladin stuff you can do defensively. Some, I think there's a plus one to one, which is fine. But adding on their defense, they're already rocking three wounds. They may not have Storm Shields. If they had Storm Shields, whoa. No, but you can sanctuary them for that four up. Mm, okay, yeah. It's not actually yeah. that bad. So sometimes taking that large blob of Terminators can be quite good. Yeah, they rolled what? They rolled their charge. I think the reroll was a double six. Yeah. They wanted into those Blight Lords. And absolutely uh, tore them apart. Yeah. As they do. So guys, thank you very much for watching. That was the, the launch on the channel of 9th edition. It has arrived. It's here to stay. Hope you enjoyed that. We had a lot of fun playing the first mission of many to come as we learn the rules a bit more as well. Um, if there's any rules we, you think we may have got wrong for 9th edition, please put them in the we'll, comments, guys. Literally, was going to say that. Let us know. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll keep doing it. Uh, let us know any Thing we got wrong i think we did okay yeah but anything put um, it in there let us know there's been a few changes so guys comment share like and subscribe check us links down below for facebook instagram twitter all our social media platforms so you can see what we're doing projects and keep up to date with the channel and patreon if you wish to support the channel but from us we hope to see another tabletop assault battle report